just working on a on a series of tunes and uh, hopefully you know see where it goes we you know I've done the band thing and uh, you know with um, you know members dropping out and stuff like that I mean the core is still there and and so we're just working on the project you know uh, what, what do you suggest for people coming? Like, uh, you're, are you experienced in the recording process, or is this new to you? Or? Uh, no, this I've, I've I've done this for a few years. Yeah. Uh, what do you suggest for people coming in to do a recording? Did you start like perhaps as a four track kind of demo type of thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. I would recommend anybody who who wants to uh, get into recording to just do it themselves for uh, for the first little while. It just gives you. Um, just gives you, you know, you cut your teeth on, on on the feel of what it's like to hear yourself on tape, and uh, you know how the process works. You know the whole multi-tracking stuff. You know, because bands who are used to just playing off the floor kind of thing, you know, not actually recording, you know, may find it a little intimidating the way that the process works. Uh, okay, can you tell me a little bit about the production of uh, Pretentious Crime and who's playing and uh, okay, playing? Uh, this actual thing that I recorded in here was um, actually oddly enough it's it's half of it is a track um, that I did at home reel to reel and there's a, it's actually a drum machine that I, I sort of played off pads and um, there's a bass player who's the other half of the project or rather what's left of, of or rather the core of the, of, of, the, of the band that's what the project is at the moment and uh, there's just guitars added uh, at home, but I've, I've decided to do all the vocals here because uh, I'm not a master of uh, vocal recording, and uh, I think Norm does an amazing job. I'm the lead singer, uh, but I play I play all the guitar tracks on this. Although I, I prefer I prefer to just play rhythm but um, I'm doing all the leads on this. Right now, uh, my friend Glenn Thurman, who is the bass player, and myself are just the core of the band. I'm, I'm, I'm basically the lead singer. And what, what's the project called? Is it you oh, solo? Or? No, no. Actually, uh, we used to be called Graphic Warehouse, but now we're, uh, we're thinking of calling ourselves Ayuhishi. Do you spell that? Uh, well, actually, it's... <laughs> I an excess type of thing. You well, care? no, it's a, it's actually Y I Y U H I S H I. It sounds kind of Japanese, but what it, what it actually is, it's uh, the first four, four pronouns I, U, He, and She sort of put together. So it kind of sounds. How did that come up? I don't know. I just I just thought it was uh, it sounded interesting, and it and it was kind of. Um, one of those questions, eh? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Um, uh, how long? How long you been playing? Me? Uh, in the project or just? Uh, just, uh, uh, just yourself as a, as a, as well, a musician. Well, I used to I used to be in a, in a family band sort of thing. Like my family was very musical, and uh, in '95 I just decided to start writing. You know, and. Um, how would you classify your style? Um. <sighs> gee. I, I'm I'm a, I'm really into the Beatles, so uh, who isn't? <laughs> who isn't? Yeah. Uh, so who my. Do you like more, John or Paul? John or Paul? Oish, that's a tough one. I, I like them both for for different reasons. Yeah. You know. Your, your influence, do you find it actually helps with your like your chord structures that you're getting when you're saying the Beatles influence? Is that part of your music? Uh, yeah, chord structure and and melody. I, I'm I'm big on melody, so uh, I um. Where do you see yourself with your career, your music career, in the next five years? Mm. <laughs> Is there a goal? Oh, yeah, there is a goal. Uh, you know, like 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 every other band or project out there, independent act, you, you want to get signed. You know, uh, independently or uh, or with with a minor or major label. But eventually, what I want to do is um, is I can see myself writing like writing songs and then hone that craft to to the point where you know writing for you know maybe not mega stars but for for people okay. you know like like minor recording artists that sort of thing uh, have you approached any of the labels 
Uh, not, not really. No, not really. This is what this is all about right now. Uh, any yeah. any uh, previous releases, like even uh, like home homegrown type of thing? Uh, yeah, we we had a tape actually that um, we released. Uh, we released. What am I saying? We used, we we just used as uh, some to sell at gigs. We actually produced it here at Norm Studio uh, back in '93, and uh, we sold quite a few. Uh, through gigs and um, gave out a whole bunch too and, and recently actually I received a, a SoCan royalty payment from uh, Indonesia uh, for one of the songs off the tape now I don't know how the hell it got to Indonesia but then I called them and they said that Indonesia is kind of a, a bit of a mess so chances are it's not even my song that I got the check for. Oh is that right? That's <laughs> yes, okay. how, so how much was the check for? Uh, 173 bucks. No way, that's, that's a lot of airplay. Yeah so I'm, I'm figuring it's like some other band that's got a song that's got the same title. I don't know. Uh, can we be looking forward to seeing uh, your project playing live in the near future? Well, that's the uh, that's the plan basically. Um, um, right now, we're just we're just working on on getting the uh, songs down, getting something that that we can give to. Right now, it's just bass, uh, rhythm guitar, which is me, and, and vocals, which is me. And we need a, a drummer and a lead guitarist. And once Are you advertising right now or are you looking for somebody? Uh, we're, we're sort of looking for somebody right now. Is there any way 